really don't know who the first person I came out to was. I, I didn't, my coming out story is kind of complicated. Um, I was going to school in a really conservative high school, um, in a really conservative community, and there were several of us that were all kind of realizing that we were not straight um, kind of around the same time, which was nice. So I had kind of a community um, going through similar things. Um, but we got kind of called out by one of our teachers one day for making like a bad name for the drama department because we were all part of theater in high school. And we were told that the principal was going to be like calling our parents. And so I guess like the first like real coming out was me trying to like, in, like <laughs> beat the principal to telling my mom that I was gay. Because <laughs> um, I kind of grew up in a household where if someone was going to get a call from a teacher, it was best it was going to come from me first. Um, so I kind of, I was like very outraged and furious that this had happened and with the teacher. And so I, I told my mom and I was like, so you're probably gonna get a call from the principal telling you that I'm gay. And she was like, well, are, are you, you're not though, right? I was like, well, yeah, I am. And then I saw her kind of starting to get like startled and like potentially angry about that. <laughs> and um, so I went very immediately on the defensive of, um, you can't be mad at me for being gay, you're gay. And then I saw the look on her face, like I had just like shaken up her world like an ant farm, and I realized that she didn't know that she was gay. So the... Um, that conversation, the, uh, <laughs> the tone of that conversation shifted very dramatically. <laughs> um, and my mom, through that conversation, my mom kind of like acknowledged her gayness and uh, my coming out became her coming out. And she and my dad split up and my mom and I moved out and I did what any good daughter would do, and I bought her the entire like box set of the L Word, and we learned how to be gay together, <laughs> which was very beautiful. <laughs> um, and then I spent like four years kind of preparing my father to hear the news that I was gay and that mom was gay, <laughs> and that that's why their marriage would never have worked out ever. I thought that was important for him to know. Um, and luckily, my family's kind of uh, prejudices were more inherited than naturally occurring, I think. Like, it wasn't like their personal beliefs. It was just something that someone handed them and they put in their pocket. So, so my dad is super accepting of me, which is awesome. And... Um, yeah, we didn't really have anything in common until we both realized that we liked girls. <laughs> I was like, hey, now we have something. We can bond over this. It's great. <laughs> but um, yeah, so kind of my coming out became more my mom's coming out. Um, and so I guess like this is kind of like the first like gesture of coming out that I've ever really done for myself, which is pretty cool. I think it's important to come out because I, I don't think I've really ever met anyone that came out and they felt like they had like a, a safe, like totally welcoming environment. Um, and I think the only thing that could change that is more people coming out. <laughs> um, having people that are living their lives honestly, really being who they are and feeling free and safe to do that. It's 
what kind of changes communities, I think, to make things safer for other people. Be brave. It's hard. It's so hard, especially when we see things every day that validate our fear. But you just have to be brave. You just have to do it. Um, that's a really interesting question. The biggest challenge that I have personally found in the LGBTQ community is not always being accepted by that community because I, when I do find myself dating someone that is you know, a cis male, I'm, even my mom kind of was like, well, you're not gay, you're, you're, you're in a heterosexual relationship. But the reality is that that's my identity and just because of who I'm with, that doesn't mean my identity changes. Um, so I've had some really interesting experiences of not being like fully validated by the LGBTQ community when I am like functioning as like a pass, like when I'm passing as heterosexual, I guess, um, which I think is a problem. I think honestly, there's so much beauty and power when people can all kind of come together that are in a marginalized part of society um, and kind of band together and not say like my issue is like the issue like that we should all be focusing on. Um, when, when you can see the validity in everyone's group struggle, I guess. So I think like kind of, I, I don't know, cherry picking like your individual struggle above like recognizing the needs of a group of like oppressed peoples, I think is kind of the, the main like problem facing the LGBTQ community, I guess. You know, I don't think that, I don't always think that I'm particularly special or great or that there's really anything particularly amazing about me, but I have managed somehow to have the most amazing friends and family. And that is, I've managed to surround myself with people that are incredibly open and accepting and kind, extraordinarily kind. And my favorite part about being me is that I get to live my life with those people. It was, I would like to say that I, it would have been really easy for me to assume that my dad would not accept me because of where we were from and things that he said that he believed. And it took a really long time. It literally took years of me like laying very intentional groundwork leading up to having very specific conversations that were building up to the moment that I told him that I don't just date men. And it was really hard. But it was really worth it. And so I think it's incredibly important not to write people off even when they say hurtful things or have knee-jerk reactions and even if it takes a really long time it's it's important to give them a chance to to be brave back <laughs>